good morning. Welcome to our collective worship. Today we meet to pause, reflect, and remember all those whose lives have been affected by COVID-19. During the times of darkness and anxiety, people light candles. This morning, three children from our partner primary, Arnott St. Mary Church of England School, will light three candles. We light a light in the name of the Maker, who lit the world and breathed the breath of life for us. We light a light in the name of the Son, who saved the world and stretched out his hand for us. We light a light in the name of the Spirit, who encompasses the world and blesses our souls with the airing. We will light, light the light, light for the Trinity of love, God of the Godless, God of the Nightless, God of the Needless, the beginning, the end, the everlasting one. Today is one year since the first UK lockdown. Since the 23rd of March 2020, we have journeyed together through difficult times. We have experienced the closure of schools and the development of online learning. At Allsop, we never closed, we adapted. And we are proud to see that we've worked through the challenge of COVID together as a family. And we've traveled together along the Allsop way. However, these have been difficult days. We have all been affected. Many families have experienced sickness due to COVID and thankfully most people have recovered. For this today, we give thanks. Sadly, over the last year, millions of people have lost loved ones due to COVID and other causes and experience to pain of loss and bereavement. Six out of 10 adults have lost someone in the last year where they would have attended the funeral. Four out of 10 say they've lost someone close to them. The restrictions we've all been living under have meant that many people have had to grieve without the comfort of having friends and family around them. Today is the day to acknowledge the grief and loss over the last year. There will be minute silence at 12 noon to create a moment that shows support for the millions of people who have been bereaved. Today provides us with an opportunity to connect with someone who is grieving. This might be in simple ways such as having a chat with them, sending a card, a message or giving them some spring flowers. At also, we will plant seeds in memory of those who have died, tie yellow ribbons on the railings and light candles to share a light at 8pm. Hello everybody, I'm Sean Mottram, Deputy Head Teacher here at Allsop and I'm going to just read a, a short prayer on behalf of the school. At funerals many people take comfort from the words of Psalm 23. Let us listen to these words. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack, can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for the beautiful reading of Psalm 23, a psalm that's read at many Christian funerals. In it, the psalmist David talks about the Good Shepherd, and from John's Gospel, we then hear how Jesus is the Good Shepherd who tends and cares for his sheep. Us. At this time of year, the Christian Church commemorates the last week in the life of Jesus, Holy Week. And then, on the Friday, Good Friday, we remember the death of Jesus on a cross. 
Jesus was crucified on the cross by the Romans, the people in charge at the time. And his last words in his language were, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which translates as, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? About two o'clock, his body was taken from the cross and put in a tomb, a garden way. The tomb was guarded by soldiers and we hear that a big stone was rolled across the entrance so no one could take the body. After his death, the friends of Jesus, his disciples, faced times of darkness and desolation which we remember through the rest of Good Friday and through into Holy Saturday. However, on the Sunday following, when his friends turned up to the tomb to tend to Jesus' body, as was their tradition, they found his body gone. And what turned from despair and the darkness that was happening turned into the joy of Jesus coming back to life, his resurrection. This is a time of darkness. We're having a day of reflection, a national day, where we can all remember those who we have loved and lost, and particularly those who've been taken by this dreadful COVID-19 disease. I hope and pray that through this assembly and the words you hear over digital means or whether in church, on this most holy of times for the Christian church, that you may hear the good news that Jesus brings for us, the hope of life eternal. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away. When they entered, they did not find the body of Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men, in clothes that gleamed like lightning, stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He's not here. He's risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee? The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day will be raised again. Then they remembered his words. Let us in a moment of silence pause and reflect. Loving God, you hold all our times in your hands, our past, our present, our future. Be close to us now as we remember all the difficulties and disappointments of the past year. Be especially close to all of us who are thinking of someone we love than you, but see no longer whether family, friend, colleague or neighbour. Help us to trust that they are at peace with you and comfort us with your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us think about how we connect to our communities. Loving God, you place us in families and communities and we give you thanks for all those around us who save us and help us in so many ways. Give us wisdom to our community leaders, to our hospitals, schools, care homes and other agencies who make a difference to our lives. Help each of us have the courage to reach out with thanks and kindness to those around us and speak words of faith as we share the good news of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we light our own sub candle of hope, we think about the Easter message, loving God. As we journey towards Easter, help us to live as people of hope, knowing that beyond the pain of the cross lies the joy of resurrection. Inspire us in our worship through our schools, churches and in our homes that we may bring glory to you and joy to others be with those who are struggling mind body or spirit 
and give courage to those who are facing uncertainty and change ahead. Help each of us to keep our eyes fixed on you, that we may reflect your light to all whom we meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. And finally, Christ the Good Shepherd, enfold us with love and fill us with peace and lead us in hope to the end of our days. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. A little bit of love goes a long, long way. A little love, a little love, a little bit of love, and I'm on my way. A little love, a little love, a long way, but we'll get there together. A long way, but we'll get there soon. Along the way, we can lean on each other. A little love goes a long, long way. A little love, a little love, a little bit of love, and the sun comes shining. A little love, a little love, a little bit of kindness and someone smiling. A little love, a little love, a long way, but we'll get there together. A long way, but we'll get there soon. Along the way, we can lean on each other. A little love goes a long, long way. A little love, a little love. Little drops of rain can trickle down into a puddle. Then the puddles get together, making streams and make a river. The rivers fill the valleys with a roaring and a rushing. Then the little drops of rain have made a wide, 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 wide ocean. A long way, but we'll get there together. A long way, but we'll get there soon. A long way. Each other, a little love goes a long, long way, a long way, but we'll get there together, a long way, but we'll get there soon. Along the way, we can lean on each other, a little love goes a long, long way, a little love, a little love, a little love.